Now sports with David Greenberg. There's a few final NBA games tonight before the All-Star break, but we're not focusing too much on them. We're looking ahead to the weekend. As we saw earlier in the news, our very own Scott Lebers in Cleveland covering the action all weekend for us. Specifically, keep an eye on the hometown favorite, Fred Van Vliet. Things will really start ramping up tomorrow. Scott has more from the CLE. Hey, David, and coming to you from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame here in the Rock and Roll City, Cleveland, Ohio. But this weekend, no, 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 it's, it's, it, there will be lots of rock and roll music going on for sure, but it's all about the NBA and the NBA All-Star Game here this weekend and the NBA All-Star Festivities. And, of course, our own Fred Van Vliet, who we're all so excited to know that he has finally reached that All-Star status. He, of course, was selected by the coaches to participate in this All-Star Game, and I know he considers that a great honor that the coaches think so highly of him. A friend and the other All-Stars are expected to arrive here tomorrow afternoon. They won't have their first practice until Saturday afternoon, and their first media availability will be at that time. But the question with Freddie is his health, all right? He did not play in the Raptors' last game Wednesday night because of a sore knee. He's been bothered by that knee now for really a month. He's also had a groin issue. But uh, you can be sure if there's any way that he can participate this weekend, he will. He's not about to pass up this opportunity of a lifetime. Who knows if he'll get another shot to play in the All-Star game. Of course, in Rockford, we all know who Fred Van Vliet is, but how well do the folks here in Cleveland know Fred Van Vliet? We're going to get the answer to that question tonight at 10 o'clock. For now, reporting from Cleveland and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in the NBA All-Star City, I'm Scott Lubber. David, back to you. Thanks, Scott. Looking forward to that later tonight. As a reminder to all of you, Scott's going to be in Cleveland throughout the weekend, so be sure to follow closely to us here at Eyewitness News.